Um, yeah, there were a comment, uh, I will go back to Wolf, uh, saying that in Belgium we do consider mastic not being an airtight barrier. Uh, well, in France we do consider it, but do you have uh, any comments about that, Wolf? Uh, mastics are mainly used on the outer uh, at the outer part of the building envelope. I'm not aware that they are used uh, frequently on the interior side for the airtight barrier. That's correct. Okay. All right. Um, now let's move to the question to Bassam. So, how the measurement the measurements uh, Q50 VS house lifespan done during the same seasons? Uh, yes, as I mentioned in the presentation, we have tried to make the measurements during the same conditions, in particular the same season, but also same building preparation, same testers when it's possible. So for the majority of uh, the measurements, uh, it was done during the same season. However, as I mentioned, we had uh, also made measurements to investigate the impact of seasonal variations. I didn't present it here because of the lack of time, but uh, I can say that uh, the results of this measurement has shown that it is not, uh, there is no impact of uh, the season on uh, the variation of the air permeability. Yeah. No, no seasonal variation. These results are available in the article and the final report of the project. Yeah, and also the article is also available on Airbase. It was, uh, yeah, last AIBC conference. Um, how did you measure measure leakage of components? Yes, I think it's a question regarding the measurement of the air permeability of windows, the window, which, I yeah. did, uh, which, which was not presented here. In fact, we have uh, developed a special device that can measure um, the air tightness of an installed window on the walls uh, the presentation of, I don't have a slide to present it, but um, in the paper there is uh, the reference of the article that presents this, defi this device uh, that can make, uh, that can measure the um, the air tightness of uh, an installed window. Uh, the principle is the same as uh, uh, the measurement of air tightness of envelope. We have a special uh, device that can uh, Create yeah, a cavity around the window to impose the pressure difference and measure the air leakage. Okay. Um, did you get any important information from questionnaires? Well, we, ha we had a lot of information, uh, but uh, when we important. yes, but uh, the problem, in fact, almost all dwellings were um, modified by occupants. Um, and uh, yeah, houses with an increase or a decrease of air permeability. So it was difficult to correlate uh, the modification that was identified during the case questionnaires uh, with uh, the observed results. That's why I said um, at the conclusion perhaps we, we should, uh, during future studies, it will be uh, pertinent to, to, to make a um, more close follow-up of uh, houses during uh, the first year because uh, the information from questionnaire uh, was not uh, finally detailed to, to have important information. I don't know if I was clear. Hmm. Sure. Um. So the next question, it was more common, uh, TS are performed on new building, windows are new, never opened, or window doors are adjusted to reduce leakage as much as possible, whatever the impact on the opening, uh, therefore directly after the test, the drop of air tightness performance will be observed. So it seems to say, well, to confirm that there is a deterioration in the it's logical to have a deterioration just after the first test because uh, as soon as we open the windows, it will uh, it will deteriorate. Do I understand it well? Do you have a comment on this, Bassam or Wolf? Uh, I didn't um, understand. Uh, I think it says that uh, when a window has never been opened, it will be always tighter than uh, after it has been opened once. 
it will uh, ah. leaks will appear. And so when you perform the test for the first time, most of the windows have never been opened. Well, I'm not sure. Oh. Well, I'm not sure it's always true because when you have uh, shutters to to adjust or things like that, usually during the building you you open the windows at least once. Yeah, I'm also not sure if this effect, if this, this effect really exists. In my opinion, there's more a deterioration of air leakage around windows and, and doors uh, after time. Yeah, after time rather than after the first time. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. Um, so yeah, that's may maybe a question or a remark you know, to me because I, I told <laughs> um, Elastic connections uh, are not used as a air barrier on the inside. Well, it's true that, that the windows are traditionally sealed with elastics around around the windows, between the plasterwork and the windows, and it, it happens. But um, in my opinion, it's, it's not. It, it happened before there were there was an awareness about air tightness, and it surely attributes to air tightness. But it's not considered the best method, so it's not advised in any case okay um don't you think that the height variation observed in the first year in many study can be due to the condition of the initial test rather than a reduction of air barrier performance over time for example when tests are performed on new building windows are new never opened or doors are adjusted to reduce leakage whatever the impact on the possible. So I, I guess it's close from question four and uh, yes. yeah, and I think, well, well just I'm, I can I'm not sure. um, yes, precise that uh, for, in our study uh, for almost our dwellings, um, it was the same tester that have made the measurements and zero and the other measurements and we have the full report with the preparation of the building. So uh, we have tried to uh, do the uh, to perform the measurements in the same conditions as the first measurement. It was the, the, the same testers that have performed the measurements and zero and measurements and one, which reduced yes. the, the part of um, impact of the preparation of building. The preparation, yeah, but then you say that the windows are new, never uh, yes. opened, or just, but yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, I don't think it's due to the initial conditions rather than uh, really, I, I think the answer is, in my opinion, the answer is no for the first question, that it's not due to initial tests, but it's really due to deterioration. Um, do you have any conclusion about which are the most suitable materials used uh, as air tightness layers? Sorry, this is a question for Hall right below. So do you have a... An opinion I, about that? I, uh, regarding our study of uh, the French durability project, as I presented for for the midterm sample, uh, we ha all houses were constructed in the same way, with the yeah. same uh, technical method and same uh, treatment of air permeability. So it is difficult to to answer this question. However, even for uh, houses constructed theoretically with the same uh, Techniques you have shown that for some houses, uh, almost uh, more than the half, the air permeability uh, has stabilized, while for others, we can observe a significant increase. So I think there is not not only the materials are uh, can impact uh, the air, uh, durability of air, air tightness, but also the conditions of implementation. Yeah. I well, in our we, study, yeah. it was difficult to compare the materials because uh, the samples were uh, uh, theoretically construct, uh, constructed with the same um, technique. Yeah, I, I think maybe the, um, the next webinar about uh, the durability uh, laboratory. laboratory. Yes. Yeah, we'll give more more answer about that. Uh, it's, yeah. It's diffi yeah, it's difficult to compare with field measurements because. Uh, you, to make a comparison, you need to have a lot, a lot of houses on each kind to be able to to draw general conclusions. Yeah, I agree that we cannot draw conclusions from from a few measurements. This is there should be laboratory testing on on different building materials to to draw any conclusions. Yeah, with exactly the same conditions and so on. Um, oh yeah, and the last comment 
I would say was about uh, yeah there is about the two layer barrier that we were not understanding and the question was is there a benefit of having a membrane behind a plasterboard and uh, then even if the plasterboard is drilled then the membrane can help to keep having a reasonable level of air tightness I think that it does more than helping I think that in this case the membrane is the hair tightness barrier and the plasterboard is just uh, finishing and then the plasterboard is no cannot be considered as a as a hair barrier because as far as it's done in series one after the other it's always the best one that will have an impact and uh, and not the other one so i think there is a very big benefit of having a membrane but then the plasterboard is no longer considered as a as your buyer, the membrane is. That was the question about the two layer, and actually, yeah.